All right, that last Elder Lick run absolutely decimated us. So we're going to we're going to try and do better. And we're going to do better by incorporating Ballista into our uh, in into the mix. A a truly and profoundly cowardly uh, decision to make, but we're going to we're going to do it nonetheless. This is also going to be a distracting stream because uh, Olive is going to be locked down here with me and around 10 a.m. A plumber is going to come and uh, and fix an issue that we have with our bathroom. So, without further ado, let's do the thing. In we go. A new cast of characters arrives. I see a sledge, I see a short bow, and I see a scepter. Not the triple combo that I would be hoping for, but... Uh, maybe maybe we'll do just fine. Let's let's get to know this cast of characters. We have Sandria, who is an illusionist with Fey blood and snotty. Okay, now did we pick? Did we pick up Dex? We did not. So it is remarkable that Sandria has so much accuracy. Probably mostly coming from there. So we'll take that off and we'll give that to someone else. But that's, uh, that's Sandria. Sandria's rocking defensive, which is fine, given that we are rocking ballistas. And Legendary Assassin looks pretty good. Uh, we, we don't have... We have Blood Mage potential. We have Health Mage potential. Hmm. So we could do something like that. We'll, we'll come back to this. Oh, and we do have Sanguine Fuel, too. Ooh. We have something very interesting here. We can skip mana growth, but that doesn't really help us. Well, we can go coagulation. Yeah, this this hero is actually looking pretty uh pretty spot on actually. Huh, okay. This is this is looking pretty good. I don't like that we're going to be a little light on XP from the looks of it. Um, give me give me one moment here. That's that's the kind of high quality content you pay for uh, pay for here the dud. Um, oh man, what an exciting day we're gonna have on our hands. Let's see. So for a blood mage, I could see don't panic being a pretty good choice. So we're gonna have a health mage here. There we go. And uh, we'll figure out a place to put that chest in a minute. Like, here we have negative four accuracy. So something like that helps us out a wee bit. We can put that there. But let's see. What's Geralt's deal? Geralt of Rivia here is rocking charlatan trained and steadfast. Okay, nothing, nothing to move in the needle there. Um... We do have, we don't have, we don't have the crit tree to get crit master and fishing for a, fishing for something to go with that is not really going to work. I was thinking we could go with a rocket jump hero here, but it doesn't look too likely that we could make that work. We could, we don't have volatile, so we can't really go poison prop. Uh, we're missing boom to go momentum. Yeah, Dio, that may be the direction we have to push it, but we're we're not going to be taking all the XP perks here. So, yeah, and we're not going to be getting defensive on that last one. But this is a these are always hard builds. I think this is one of the balance issues that that needs to be addressed with the last spell in its current form is the. The, the columns 
are not are not evenly distributed for lack of a better descriptor um they or their 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 power level is not evenly distributed i guess is the way that i should say it uh geez momentum with no boom is like uh what a night with a night with no stars so we don't love that um Without crit master, we can't really go. I don't know. I don't know what we do here. Um, I think it's like a poison poke build, but I I hate to do that. We can go poison stun. But we don't have stunning, so we're gonna have to pick up something else. I guess we'll go that. have very little in this bottom tree that works for us so we can go back and pick up that initiator isn't the worst thing on builds like this and we don't actually want more crit hmm maybe overload i don't know it's not it's not great We don't love it, but then we have Manan and on and on. Who's rocking two minus move on their uh, on straggler and short along with messenger. We have poison and crit trees. No mana collector means we're not going rocket jumping. So this hero is probably just. Is probably just going crit. Certainly looks that way to me. I'd probably go this way. We'll go with a multi-hit type build. Multi-hit crit. Uh, sad we don't have a uh, a mana crystal. Did we get? Yeah, we got zero runic gifts. You always love to see that. Manon would be a great momentum hero. Uh, I mean, no head-on, Dio. I mean, it's it's not the most important momentum perk, but I think with our current with our current setup, not taking someone who can do some multi-hit shenanigans is probably a dangerous gamble. I mean, they do have they do have proximity shot, sheer power, boom. So if we decided to build them that way. The only things we're really changing here are probably grabbing glass cannon, grabbing that. We want to pick up proximity shots. So we probably ditch, well, we ditch crit master. We would need inertia. We need to pick up boom. So Legendary Assassin becomes less attractive. That is true. She does have... She's a little low on movement, but yeah, she does She does start with a bit of momentum. All right, we'll, we'll, let, the, we'll let the heart of the cards decide here. We'll, we'll go momentum, and then we will swap those two. So we got 8, 4, 8. Accuracy, we got very lucky with gear. Readiness helped us out a bit there. Um, but so let's see. So we're going to put, I think, you here, you here, you here. Okay. Well, let's, let's get on with it. Up, up, and away we go. Oh, 
Oh, I hate that. I wanted this guy to get stunned. <laughs> We're 150 is plenty here, I think. So we'll just do that, and then you, I think, are going to come and do a bit of just removal here. All right. We'll call it a day there. One seventeen is the max hit. Alright, the, the stuns are coming in slow and whatever the opposite of Furious is. But I think we're fine. We've, we've done what we set out to do there initially. Slow and serene. Is, is there any other way? Does this guy have negative percent stun? Because this is like... No, just zero percent. We have, we have not been hitting, uh, not been hitting our stuns, that's for sure. I think that's... Move around like this. Give them a chance to fill in that spot. And then... All right. How is our panic already so high? Seems odd to me. Like, how did we get almost half the total panic there? I feel like we haven't done anything. Like, I, I don't even think... that Last turn was the first turn that they could hit walls. So I'm genuinely a little baffled. I'm going to move back. I don't want to get... I don't want to get mana drained, if at all possible. A 
Let's see. Keep softening up things that don't have a lot of armor. How likely are we to get a kill here? So 194 is our max final damage. And that is two over how many hit points it has. All right, we probably won't. Don't kill unless we crit. All right. Okay. Poor, poor Olive. She's uh, she's trapped down here because we're gonna have a plumber coming later today. And I, I don't want to have to wrangle her at the eleventh hour here type of thing. Let's roll the dice on this. Oh, that was... I rolled the dice on the wrong thing there. Whoops. Not really what I had in mind with that, for that propagate, but... Alright, we didn't quite seal the deal on that one. If you don't want to be managing, just leave the haven. <laughs> Dear, are you just saying that that is an inevitability and I need to just get used to uh, getting managing? Is that the is that the the not so subtle message or? Thank you, Alex. Thank you. I think I run away here. The AI can only manage rain if you're in the haven. Really? Yes, not modded this time around. Not modded. That's that's melting my brain, Dio. That's a that's a crazy it's a crazy detail. Yeah, I had no idea. I could also just kill the, uh... I could also just kill the Accursed, although getting access to that one is going to be a little tough, so I'm probably going to... Do that, and then... Those are all wounded enemies. I don't know that I want to bother with a ground smash there. Can't quite get to where I want to get over there, so... Hmm. 
think I'll just I'll just armor up. And then if we wanted to. Yeah, I'll, I'll toss this out. Alright. I mean, it sounds like a, a very sort of like feeble attempt at a anti-turtle strategy, Dio, if, if, that, if I were to kind of like, you know, read between the lines. Scepter is really not my favorite to kind of like start out with. And then do we... We have one more... One more hammer time in us. So we'll do that. Kind of feel like I've spent enough mana here. For one lifetime. All right, and then I'm gonna try to remove some of these twist, these uh, these kindled because the scepter is way better at that than anybody else. Do we just get you with one move? Okay. And then, as much as possible, I do want to slow down. And, and concentrate as many of the enemies at the front edge, just because we are still... We are still trying to get as many corpses as we can. That is our only reward, given that everything else is going so incredibly swimmingly. Well, at least no one's gnawing on our last spell. The AI in this game is really interested. While most tier ones have the same basic one, all other enemies have a unique goal. That uh, that tracks with kind of like my my general experience with the game. I I think they they did a lot of smart things with uh with the design of of the last spell for sure. Let's see, can I? All right, I think I will, I'll put myself here in hopes that somebody wanders over.
probably probably using the follow attack there was not the play. And then at this point, there is no there's no value to moving quicker. As long as they're not chewing on critical buildings. Like these guys look like they're gonna tear this whole wall down. That's their uh, that's their goal. Probably shouldn't be giving any kills to our short bowmen, as they probably have the most kills at the moment. Ooh, that's another that's another good one, Dio. So I know that. So one thing that I've always found interesting is when enemies will choose to target structures over heroes. Uh, and gargoyles are a good example of that. A gargoyle will hit a building before they hit a hero, which I've always found to be a quite an interesting something or other. All right. The, the corpse pile situation is really upsetting at the moment. Um, what the heck happened? It's not a very good start. Gargoyles target a random city building at short range. They can literally be next to a hero and the last spell and decide to fly away and hit your shop. Yes, that is that has been my my experience there. So let's see. So we're going to do... We are going to build houses still. And then... What do we get for materials from these? 21 versus 21 and 108. I think we're better off going with these corpses first. Okay, well, let's see. At least we can build... Can we build, like, what, two ballistas? And we can't even upgrade them? Both. All right, things are going to be a little, a little spicy here. I fear. Fear. Um, this is a uh, this is not a strong start. Let's see what the shop has. Multi-hit wand has me wanting to pivot our momentum hero into multi-hit. Not going to lie. In fact, we got two multi-hit items. I can't really... This is too good to pass up. Hmm. We had no one else who was good for momentum or for good for for multi hit. I don't I don't think I can turn that down. <laughs> We're super broke. Um, well, let's take a look at what the levels look like. 
That isolation and crit power are good. Yeah, I, I don't think I can do it. It's not helping us out that much at the moment, though. What else did I pick up? I pick up Magic Fuel. Lone Wolf seems more in line. All right, I'll stick with Momentum. Leaving that wand on the table is going to be hard to, hard to swallow, but... We weren't going to be able to afford the Raven Queen's Feathers anyways. I think it's going to be another short bow, a pistol. I, I do feel like the wand is still the best thing to pick up, but... We'll do something like that. Let's see. Geralt gets the good momentum. Womp womp. Poison and stun works pretty well there. Take 10% accuracy. I don't love it. Gonna take I'm gonna take the big mana. Um poison stunners are are often a little little difficult to to get enough mana on, so gonna take the isolation. I think that's fine. Hey, thank you, Krim. Hey, Clint. Oh, heck yeah, Clint. Welcome on in. Thank you for uh, thank you for letting me know. I'm so gl always so glad to hear it when uh, when people find my content and enjoy it. Hate that reroll. All right, not not terrible, but not great. Do we need a little more movement? Yeah, more than we need a little bit of stun. I think the last spell is a great game. It may be it may be taking a brief hiatus on the channel. So let's see, you're our health mage. So resistance reduction looks pretty good. You're gonna have a lot of damage from sanguine fuel. So I don't wanna over index there. I'll take the health. We're gonna have a lot of physical damage from bodybuilder as well. So what does that mean that we want on this hero? It's an interesting question. Daily health regen is fine. Healing received is fine. All right. Not, not amazing, but... Is there anything we could leave on the table to pick up Avid Learner? Not really. I don't think so. Okay, well, the, the good news is because we're running... this It feels optimistic to get rid of these corpses. All right, especially given how little we got. The lack of mountains really hurt us pretty badly. But, all right, we'll leave it at this. All right, night number two of our Elderly...